Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is exciting. I'm going to be recreating a makeup tutorial that I saw from one of the most beautiful, you know what, let me close the window, hold on, I'm back. I'm gonna be recreating a makeup tutorial that I saw from one of the most beautiful women, in my opinion. I've looked up to her for many years. Jennifer Lopez. Guys, she just did a makeup tutorial on her like signature glow. Um, now obviously she's been in the industry for years and she's had help from like Scott Barnes, from Kevin Aquan. So she's learned a lot. And because she's in the industry, she knows how to do her makeup. Like she's gotta know how to do it if, you know, things fall apart and she can't um, book an artist, let's say. But she's gotta know how to do it. So she shared her steps and everything, and I'm gonna recreate it. I don't have all of the products that she used. I do have the contour highlight palette that she had though. So she used the Bobbi Brown BBU palette. This is like a pro artistry palette. It comes with all of these um, shades. It's shades from the foundation stick. I'm a little rusty on the Bobbi Brown line. I freelanced for them years ago, um, and it's been a few years since I haven't freelanced for them. So I don't know. I think this might still be available. I'm not sure, but I have it, and it's the one I use in my uh, makeup artist kit. So I have that handy. I don't have the Chanel foundation, so we are going to supplement with what I do have and kind of just interject different products. So... One of the main things that she talks about is being in a good state of mind. So what does that mean? Now you can take this or you can just kind of ignore it. But what she means is if you are like, you know, just not, not you're not always going to be positive, which is fine. But if you're like in a good state of mind, you're taking care of yourself, that's going to always show. She made it a point to say something like, if you're not good, like, you know, mentally, and I'm paraphrasing, this is not verbatim. Um, when you put makeup on, you just look like you, you just have makeup on, right? And there's something different about when you are enjoying, like, life, you're doing your best, and you're moving forward in your goals that you just, like, everybody just naturally lights up. That was my interpretation. Um, so, aside from that, let's get into the tutorial. One of the things that she did too was she really prepped her skin. Skin prep is major, it's huge. You have to do it when you are getting ready, when you're doing your makeup, especially if you're gonna say, let's you, you're gonna do your makeup extra for an event, you're going to a wedding, something, whatever. You just wanna do a glam look. You have to prep your skin. So I am massaging in a face oil. I'm gonna list everything like over here and obviously down below. And she was really like working in her skincare. That's important. Skincare is not something you wanna speed by. If you miss spots when you put your foundation on, you're, you're gonna be patchy, that's just how it is. Following up with a moisturizer. My skincare today is my True Botanicals. I know it works good under makeup and it just moisturizes my skin nicely. So I'm taking a little bit of my moisturizer again really, really working it into the skin. Use whatever moisturizer you like, whatever is your favorite, just make sure your skin is prepped. That's always gonna be huge. Obviously, she's got her skincare, she knows what works for her. My rule when you're prepping skin is make sure, you know, hydration, hydration. Um, and you always want a nice slip to your skin. That is a Bobbi Brown trick that I learned. So you always wanna prep the skin really good. One of the things you wanna do is you wanna set, you wanna put your moisturizer on, wait a few minutes, and then my little like trick that I learned was if you take your finger and you kind of like slide it down your face, if there's like a drag, you need more moisture. If it's too much of like a slick, you're over moisturized. But if it just kind of goes smooth and the skin feels like nice and like soft and just a nice little drag down, um, your skin is ready to go. All right. So if you have this palette, let me show you what shades she was using because I was watching the video very closely and I will link the video down below. She was using to contour her forehead and her cheeks, 
these three shades. So it was espresso, chestnut, and walnut. When she went down to contour her nose, she used these three down here, which are walnut, warm walnut, and almond. So she changed her, the contour that she used down her nose was not as strong or dark as the one around the like forehead and perimeter of her face. So that was something I realized. I was like, okay, so she's not using the same thing all over, which makes sense because sometimes if you do that to your nose, it could be a very harsh contour. And then she used a separate high, um, concealer. I think it was NARS. I don't know. I'm going to use my Kosas. And let's just start. Okay. So this, again, I mentioned this is my makeup artist palette. I'm not going to stick my brush in it like she did. That was her palette. I'm actually going to use a little spatula and I'm just gonna take a swipe of each. Now, I'm not gonna get the exact same ratio as she had because she did hers differently. I'm gonna mix it. And the one thing that I realized too, this is what it looks like. Well, the one thing I realized too is that when she was using these products, these are foundation shades, they're a little bit warmer. So they're not your true contour shades. Contour shades are gonna be cooler, but we went with something warmer. JLo's always known for that bronzy glow. That could be the reason why she did that. I'm gonna take the e.l.f. Putty Bronzer Brush and I'm just gonna pick it up. Now she was generous when she was applying this part of her makeup. She went in <laughs> like, like this and she kind of put it back into the forehead. She took this and she mentioned that when she puts her like bronzer contour this part she doesn't put it below her cheekbone she said she used to but now she's learned that if she picks it up it's just a little more like, I'm assuming it's a little more lifting but that was her reasoning behind that just like I know I look I look crazy I would never <laughs> do this but if this works who knows maybe on those special occasions I might do something like this and then she mentioned that she puts it here. She calls this the light bulb because when you're out like this, you don't want this part to come out. Now, I, I think she is in good shape. I think she's healthy. I don't think she has this extra stuff. I have a little extra stuff. I am I can tell you right now, I'm definitely carrying more weight than I need to be. But let's see. So she did that. I feel crazy right now. Then she went in for the lighter shades. And I'm going to take that. And if you watch her video, the precision that she has when she is doing this down her nose, I was like, whoa, those are some like seriously straight lines. I was like, that's insane. I'm going to take my detail brush. And all she did was she took it. Oh man, her, her lines were way straighter than mine. <laughs> and she didn't have that much of a gap between. The line, my nose is a lot wider than hers though. So, <laughs> All right, now just kind of looking at my work here, I can tell that I gotta just bring this down more. And she, it was thick like that, okay? So she did that. Then she took, actually, you know what? She did her concealer first. So I, we could still do that. I'm going to take the Kosas concealer. And she hit the concealer kind of like this. Anybody that follows me that's watching this video, you guys are like, oh my God, Anna, that is a lot of makeup that you're putting on your face. Yes, it is. And then she took a little bit of that down the center of her nose. And then... She took... That... I think she did this. So she did that. Alright. So I messed up, guys. I messed up. She did her concealer first and then she did the contouring which is fine that's a quick fix 
And then she she had blended it out and everything. And then she mentioned to like she'll bring the concealer down the sides of her nose if it's a little bit like dark. And she blended it out. So that's what she did first. Because then she goes in with a lighter concealer. So just like that. Okay. Now now we are caught up to Jennifer Lopez. Then she took a lighter concealer. I don't have a lighter one, so I'm actually gonna go with this next. This is the lightest one I have, I think. Um, and she just took it and almost used it as extra brightness here. Okay. I missed something else. All right. And then what she does is she takes, um, concealer and almost goes on the outer part of her lips. And she goes that it's not meant to be lip liner. It's um, it's just going to help create a shadow. So I'm going to take that and... I look crazy. But that's okay. All right. So once she does this, she takes a foundation brush and she just starts to blend out her concealer. So basically what we're doing, guys, if you haven't figured it out, is we are underpainting. And she takes this down. Blends. Takes this. Blends. Now for the magic. We are going to go in with a foundation. Now she was using different foundations mixing to kind of get her perfect shade. I have my perfect shade here. And with this, I'm going to go in with my Makeup by Mario. This is one of those things where you're watching and you just got to trust the process. I'm going to go in with a Zoeva brush. And I'm going to pick up product. And I am just going to start blending. Out everything. And by doing this, you're basically mixing all the colors together. Um, you're When you get to the perimeter of the face, it starts to look like you kind of have like a bronzer and like this natural glowy skin. Okay, I say that it kind of, it all did blend in nice. Oh my God. I look like I have more of a glow. There's definitely some dimension under there. I probably could have gone a little bit darker, but I look pretty glowy. You could see dimension and all that because of the underpainting. Oh my God, look how dirty my brush is. This is actually... It's really nice guys um i think this is something to do if you're gonna like go to an event or something let me put my down put down my hair we're just looking at skin at this moment right um i'm not gonna do like a full full face but that's pretty freaking impressive and honestly it was an easy tutorial to follow along to oh my god guys i look, I look half snatched um it was a pretty easy tutorial to follow along to um and, you know, like I said, JLo's known for her, like, that JLo glow. Uh, I definitely need to do this over and kind of experiment with it. But, you know, not bad for following along. I think it looks really nice. I think if I had my whole makeup done, it would look complete. But, I mean, guys, I'm I'm glowing. I got that, like, JLo foundation glow. So, let me know if you guys are going to try this out. Let me know any pointers or anything. I'd love to hear from you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I look forward to doing more tutorials like this. Let me know if you have any specific requests. I'll see you in my next one.